Hey, it's Rins. It's Tuesday, and it's time for the drive home. What should we talk about today? Let's talk about some nostalgia. Uh, there seems to be a pretty good kick on it coming on uh, now, nowadays, especially for my generation. Um, <clears throat> we've got things like Stranger Things, which is a wonderful uh, lean back to the kind of 80s pseudo schlocky horror sci-fi type stuff. Did an excellent job. Love the series. Watch it. It's really, really good if you haven't seen it already. Um, especially true to those of us who grew up with those type of films and shows. It uh, really lends itself very nicely to that whole genre and plays it up perfectly. Uh, we've got a lot of shows that are getting revamped. We've got the, the uh, new Voltron series that came out on Netflix, which was great. Um, impatiently waiting season two. Uh, <laughs> I really look forward to it. I think they did a great job for that. But that seems to be something that's coming up a lot. We're getting a lot of remakes. Um, I guess this isn't new. They've been doing this for a while. But what sort of thing really kicks, fires off the nostalgia? What makes us yearn for these kind of things? Because there's also remakes that come out that nobody asked for <laughs> and nobody really cared about. Now, I haven't seen it, so I can't really voice anything to it, but the new Gus Ghostbusters, um, I've heard good things about it. I've heard bad things about it. It's been very mixed reviews as far as I know. The one thing that really irks me about it, and I'm not saying it's stopping me from watching the movie. I'll happily watch the movie. What's stopping me from watching the movie is I just don't go to movies very often. So unless it shows up on Netflix, or some other streaming service, which I'll get to eventually, um, I'm not really gonna see it. Uh, but what got me about it was when it came out, it wasn't a sequel. Uh, it was effectively a remake. It was them doing the whole thing anew, which seemed weird to me. I, it really, when they were first talking about it, they were talking about, you know, like an all-female group that was going to take over for the old guys. Uh, they were revamping the, um, the or it, it was either they were revamping the franchise uh, there was many versions of this who had that had come out. There was also one about it was a story about a branch that opened in Chicago as opposed to New York City, at, ran by these girls, and therefore you might get a cameo from, you know, uh, Dan Aykroyd or Bill Murray. Um, but that that was it. It was all about this new group, and they were handing off the business to them, as it were. But instead, no, the the old ones that we that we love and know so dearly thrown out the window for a whole new Ghostbusters that was brand spanky new and nobody had seen before and seemed kind of weird. And that's that's a remake I feel nobody asked for. Um, because Ghostbusters stands very well on its own. It doesn't need to be remade. The special effects, well, are still pretty good. Um, they look fine. Uh, you know, they're not a lot. I think pretty much all of it was practical effects, so it still looks really, really good. Uh, that is the advantage to practical effects, uh, is that they don't really age. Uh, they just look really good. I mean, true, some of it does look aged. I mean, look at Jason and the Argonauts and the infamous Undead Warriors and that thing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's some pretty bad special effects, but for the time, it was great. I mean, mixing start-stop animation with live action. Uh, but there's one. Yeah, let's remake Jason and the Argonauts. I mean, come on. Let's get some real classics in there. And there's also a lot of misplaced nostalgia, or at least things where they could have used nostalgia and threw it out the window. Um, one that really comes, one that dawns in my mind and what brought this up was John Carter. Uh, if you haven't seen the Disney movie John Carter, I would also highly recommend that. Uh, a lot of people bashed on it for being uncreative, we've already seen this movie a hundred times, you know, blah, 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 blah. The problem is, and this is where the nostalgia should have been used but wasn't, is that the John Carter story, Princess of Mars, is a hundred, well, when the movie came out, it was a hundred years old. The movie was coming out on its, on the story, on the novel's hundredth anniversary, and that wasn't marketed at all. They totally disregarded anything concerning it. They didn't bother to say, look, yeah, you've probably seen all these tropes before in other sci-fi movies, but that's because this is where the tropes came from. This was the originator. This was the original science fiction story that so many things have weaned stuff off of. And they didn't bother to do that. They just said, hey, from Disney, John Carter of Mars. And they didn't even say of Mars. They just said John Carter, which was a bad play. But that's neither here nor there nor what we're discussing. So that could have that could have used some nostalgia. Um, let's see here. 
trying to think <laughs> where else this could lean to. I mean, we're also, there's there's some remakes of games that are coming out, like Thief, I've heard bad things about Thief. Uh, I never played the original, so I'm really nowhere near an authority on that. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I guess Battlefield is always trying to get back to its roots and failing. Uh, although, I played the beta for Battlefield 1, I guess it was good. I'm getting kind of sick of Battlefield. Uh, I'm getting kind of sick of all those types of games. Although I talked about that in the earlier video, so I'm not going to rehash that. And also, I guess graphically, we're getting a lot of nostalgia going back through. We're getting a lot of games that base itself off of old pixel style. Um, when we've got, you know, these high-end computers running high resolution and we're going for old pixel uh, pixel art and simple graphics and things of that nature. And sometimes it lends itself to it. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, you really wish that they had put more more into it. Um, I've played some of the, some of them, I mean, like uh, Risk of Rain. Risk of Rain, very good gameplay. Could it benefit from better graphics? Sure. Uh, although the gameplay, I guess, makes up for it. Um, Starbound and Terraria, I think, probably could have benefited from better artwork. I, a lot of people love those games. Um, they were enjoyable uh, from what I played, but I really think uh, instead of if, and this could, uh, could also be because these are all indie titles, and so with indie titles you have a very limited budget, um, and therefore pixel art's kind of easy to do. Uh, you're not animating as much stuff. Um, if it gets big and blocky, that you know when you drop the resolution down, that's fine because that's how it's supposed to look, so that works. You don't have to worry about nice, clean, crisp images that work under high resolution, or, uh, you know, if you're doing, if you're still doing sprites, or if you're doing 3D stuff, you need decent models, um, so, eh, I don't know. Maybe I'm going off on another weird tangent because I really didn't have a topic, and I was just trying to think of things to say, <laughs> and now I'm stuck in traffic, which just makes this even longer. Uh, so you have to deal with it. Uh. Well, you don't. You can always leave, but where's the fun in that? Then you don't see where the video ends up. You know where the video ends up. It ends up with me at home. Uh, and, uh, or, or does it? Do I get in a horrific accident? Maybe I get pulled over finally. Uh, you'll never know unless you watch the entire video. Um, although you can probably guess that since the video was posted, I didn't get in a horrific accident. So I guess I'm going to throw that one out the window. Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Is there anything you really wish you could have back or reimagine? I miss arcades. Arcades were fun. Um, those are gone, and they're not coming back. There's no way to bring those back. Uh, home video game, home consoles, and the PC as a gaming machine is far too powerful now. I mean, they've got interesting... I mean, arcades kind of become more of an attraction, like in Japan. Out here, it's it's nothing. Uh, you're not really going to find any anymore, and it's okay. I'll, I'll have my memories, and they were a lot of fun. I used to go to with my dad all the time. You know, pop in twenty bucks, get a large handful of tokens, and spend a good couple of hours playing games with my dad, and that was fun. Um, and no, don't have that anymore. But that's okay. There's other things to do. Now instead, we. Uh, go to a restaurant and catch happy hour <laughs> so we get older or activities change sometimes sometimes they don't we still we still play video games and watch movies and anime and stuff like that together but there we are so tell me what you're nostalgic for and i'll see you at home